So I believe we have about 84 books to move through, so I tem this. <laughs> Hi friends, I'm Emma, and I'm a huge book nerd. Welcome to my living room floor and to my unread bookshelf. So if you've been following along, in 2021, one of my resolutions is to read as many books off of my unread bookshelf as I can. So I thought that it might be useful and fun to do a little unread bookshelf tour. I believe we have about 84-ish books to move through, so let's get started. All right, this first shelf here does have a few books on it that I have already read. Um, for example, the Harry Potter series. There's also another series tucked back here that I've read as well. The first book is Normal People by Sally Rooney. This and these next upcoming books are on my TBR for February. Uh, Evening News by Mary Swick. Marley by Marley Swick. Black Ass by A. Egoni Barrett. My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyin Khan Braithwaite. Shining City by Connor McPherson. Apollo 13 by Jim Lovell and Jeffrey Klugel. An exciting new edition, my book of the month pick, Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. I am so excited to read this. Um, and an extra that I chose for book of the month this month, The Death of Vivek OG. I've heard incredible things and I am so excited to read this also. Um, obviously the Harry Potter series, which I have read, I swear. People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. I'd Rather Be Reading by Anne Bogle. The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. And then there's a whole nother surprise layer back here. All right, so this is the other thing back here that I have read, this, the uh, fifth season. The Obelisk Gate and the Stone Sky, Soft Science by Franny Choi, and this lovely finance book uh, that I got from my finan financial advisor, 60 Days to Change by Peter Dunn. <laughs> Another series that I have already read, I've got The Hobbit um, and the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy back here. Then we've got The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. The Dark Tower by Stephen King. I think this is the very last Stephen King on my unread shelf, which is kind of exciting. Not that I won't be buying more in the future, but. <laughs> Got The Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin. I'm actually thinking about unhauling this one because I just don't think I'm ever gonna continue reading the series. Yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? Gather the Daughters by Jenny Melamade. Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zaf. Zafon, Salvation Station by Catherine Schleich. Schleich, Evil Under the Sun by Agatha Christie, The Monogram Murders by Sophie Hanna in the style of Agatha Christie, The Alienist by Caleb Carr. This isn't actually mine, this is my roommate's, um, but I told him I was interested in reading it, so now it's on my shelf. It's Ghost Stories of Indiana by Edric Thay. And finally, uh, Peter and the Sword of Mercy by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. Moving on to this middle shelf. There are a lot of fun books on this shelf. First is To Shake the Sleeping Self by Jedediah Jenkins. The Last Report on the Miracles at Little No Horse by Lewis Erdrich. Ginny Moon by Benjamin Ludwig. Britt Marie Was Here by Friedrich Bachman. This is my last Bachman. I'm so sad about it. <laughs> Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keane. Boy Snow Bird by Helen Oyeyemi. Ghost Light by Frank Rich. Night Road by Kristen Hanna. The Overstory by Richard Powers. The Color of Water by James McBride. The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey U U Eugenides. Violent Ends uh, by many authors. The Prophets by Robert Jones Jr. Bad Blood by John Carreyrou. The Library Book by Susan Orlean. How Hard Can It Be by Alison Pearson. In Search of Lost Time, Swan's Way, a graphic novel by Marcel Proust. A, a adaptation and drawings by Stephen Hewitt. And then we have the second row. Commonwealth by Anne Patchett. 
Inside the O'Briens by Lisa Genova, A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan, The Power of One by Bryce Courtney, Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly, A Long Way from Chicago by Richard Peck, A Year Down Yonder by Richard Peck, Women Who Run with Wolves by Clarissa Pinkola Estes, Wild Things, The Joy of Reading Children's Literature as an Adult by Bruce Handy. I'm really excited for this. Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty. This one is also not actually mine. It's my roommate's, but I'm just really interested in reading it. It is the, cla the classic bestseller Mythology, Timeless Tales of Gods and Heroes by Edith Hamilton. The Nikano Thrift Shop by Hiromi Kawakami. Educated by Tara Westover. The Wangs vs. the World by Jade Chang. This is another one that I'm considering unhauling, so if you really think I should keep it, uh, let me know. And Doxology by Nell Zink. This shelf is also kind of a storage box, so who knows what we're gonna find in here. <laughs> First I've got this little just decorative box that sits up there. Um, a cat toy. <laughs> This is where I put a lot of classics, plays, and some nonfiction. And sadly, I rarely touch this shelf because um, these aren't the things that I gravitate towards the most. <laughs> so, William Faulkner, As I Lay Dying. I have this beautiful collection of Shakespeare's. I love these babies. Let's see, I have read some of these, but actually, I think I've only read one of these, which is such a shame. I have The Winter's Tale. The Taming of the Shrew, this is the one that I've read. The Merry Wives of Windsor, Henry IV Part One, Comedy of Errors, and The Merchant of Venice. Then, not in that pretty edition, I have Richard III and Henry V. <laughs> we have a cat brush. Um, Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, A Threadbare, Clothes, Sex, and Trafficking uh, by Anne Elizabeth Moore, Parable of the Sower, and Parable of the Talents by Octavia Butler, Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kazin, East of Eden by John Steinbeck, Charles Dickens' Complete Work Collection of Christmas Stories, and it all comes tumbling down. <laughs> Bleak House Part 1, Bleak House Part 2, a bunch of junk, Un oh I forgot I had this, Unworried by Dr. Gregory Popcat. I've read parts of this actually, I just haven't read the whole thing. How to Write a Sentence and How to Read One by Stanley Fish, A Poetry Handbook by Mary Oliver, The Empty Space by Peter Brook. Uh, those last three were all like playwriting books. Uh, these these next several are all plays, so The Real Thing by Tom Stoppard, The Lion in Winter by James Goldman. Uh, these, these two are not mine, these are my roommates, but I've been meaning to read them for ages. Tribes by Nina Rain, and The Guards at the Taj by Rajiv Joseph. Another book on playwriting, <laughs> The Art of Dramatic Writing by Lajos Egri, another play, Junk by Ayad Akhtar. I am dreading reading this play. I've just heard that it's very um, boring. <laughs> um, this also is not mine. This is a loan from my roommate. It's The Long Walk, A True Story of a Trek to Freedom by uh, Slavomir Rawiks. Into the Wild by John Krakour. This is actually not mine either, this is my sister's. Scones and Bones by Laura Childs. I Am Malala by Malala. The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. Kokoro by Natsume Soseki. The Complete Stories of Flannery O'Connor by Flannery O'Connor. And Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance by Robert M. Herzig. Those are all of the books on my unread shelf. Um, as you saw, a couple of them I don't actually own. My goal is to kind of get through the ones that I do actually own so that I can, you know, decide if I want to 
get rid of them or if there's something that I really want to keep. Basically it's to make moving a little easier for me when it's time to do that. Um, if you saw any books on this bookshelf that you think I should prioritize, please by all means let me know. Tell me which ones you're most excited about. Um, let me know if you want to see a reading vlog for any of the books on this shelf because that could be super fun as well. And um, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed going through all of these books. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too boring. So please like and subscribe and leave those comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.